This is a demonstration of how to use the Unicam system. I've taken the parts I need, the boot, and the termination. I left everything else in the bag, and I'm going to put my Unicam on the crimper to start. Okay, so I got my Unicam on the crimper, and it's connected to my tester, which is just sending out a red light. Well, that lets you know if it's open uh, or um, or if it's going correctly through the fiber. And note that I've taken off all of the coverings that were on the Unicam when it was in the bag. And now I'm going to put the boot on the cable because you don't want to forget about that. I got my boot on my slate gray cable and I made a 40 millimeter marking, which is the point I'm going to strip to. So for this particular fiber, I use the middle strip tool, clip all the way down, and there's the fiber unsheathed. If you can barely see it, you've got it totally unsheathed. And I went ahead and made an 11 millimeter mark, which will help us later on. Now I'm going to use my cutter to get the right length to insert into the Unicam. And just a reminder that you want to clean your exposed fiber optic before you make the cut. So I've made my cut and there it is. Well, you can't see it too well. It's right there. And now I'm going to insert it into the Unicam. So I inserted my fiber into the crimp tool. I have a bow which keeps the pressure forward. You can see the light is out. You can't see the red flashing light anymore, which means the light is going through the fiber as opposed to getting dispersed by an error. And I've pushed the lever down, which is the final step in making sure that I'm ready to go. Now I'm going to make the crimp. So I successfully made the crimp and I put the shoe on, which I remembered to put on earlier on, on the fiber, uh, which is critical. So otherwise you can't use it. And I'm going to put the dust cap on so that I can continue going with the terminations. And only then will I do the final assembly. The blue and blue and orange were done earlier. Uh, previous installation.